Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is Game Straight One. This is uh, gonna be 19 to 11. My last video on this mini series gonna be uh, uh, the top 10. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know it's a lot of videos to do over for over these particular games, in my opinion, but it's fun. I've been really enjoyed sharing my opinion on these games, and I'm starting to get a lot of good feedback as far as uh, what games you guys feel should be in the top 100 and why. Um, obviously, we don't all have the same opinions as far as, far as video games go, and that's great. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert as video games at all. I'm just doing this for fun. So, um, took me a while. It took me about two, three months to put this list together. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Um, let's do number 19. This is a PS2 game. This is God of War 2. Um, graphics are stellar um, for the system, and this definitely shows off the capability of the PS2 system. Um, obviously, pretty graphic as far as light goes. But I was really surprised to see new cutscenes and nudity and stuff in this game as well playing it. But I cannot wait till Grand the uh, God of War 3 comes out uh, for PS3. I, I've seen previews for it, and. Uh, it, it definitely uh, it gives me gave me some goosebumps for sure. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Um, number eighteen. This is a PS3 game, 360 game as well. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, a lot of you guys have played this game, and I'm sure you guys you have your opinions about this game as well. But for me, I, I really like this game. Uh, story story is amazing. Uh, I just love the freeness of it. I mean, just like every other Grand Theft Auto game, uh, you can kind of you know roam the city as, at will. But I mean, they put so much detail in this game, and they made it look like. Uh, Liberty City make look like uh, New York City, and uh, you know there's a little mi mini Easter egg game in here, and you've got you know your strip club you can go to, you lap dance, and it's just funny, funny game to play. Um, number eighteen, okay, this is a Nintendo game. Uh, this is uh, Baseball Stars. This is probably my favorite baseball game for Nintendo. There's a, there's a plethora of baseball games for the super or for the regular Nintendo, but um, for me this is you know first time I was introduced to SNK. Uh, they made the Neo Geo later on and had some baseball starters games for that as well. But this is an awesome game. You can customize your team, you can customize your players, you can you can you know change your names, uh, create teams. I mean this is revolutionary back in the day for Nintendo. There, there was no games like that. Um, you got classic teams like Lovely Ladies which which pissed me off because when you're very first starting you, you get your asses kicked by by a whole bunch of ladies. Nothing's wrong with that. But uh, it just it's just a uh, fun game to play, and also um, you got like your baseball stars and stuff like that. So um, it, it was interesting. Uh, you've got uh, number sixteen. Okay, this game might be a little high on people's list, but this is uh, Chrono Trigger. This is uh, for the Super Nintendo. Um, this is an awesome game to play. Uh, if you have a DS, they have a port for the DS. If you have a PS One, there's a port to the PS One as well under the I think it's the anthology because uh, of this game and Final Fantasy Three, I believe. So um, fun game. Um, this is, in my day, my opinion, back in the day for Square, this is really their peak, uh, where they made some phenomenal games. Uh, you got Final Fantasy II, Final Fantasy III, uh, this game, and uh, Super Nintendo has some awesome RPGs by Squaresoft, and this is one of them. I uh, recommend it. So. Okay, so uh, number 15, this is another RPG. Um, this is Super Mario RPG. This is where a uh, Super Nintendo game, uh, this is where Nintendo worked with Squaresoft um, to uh, make these games, and and uh, it, it's an awesome. They did a great job. I mean, they did a nice job of, of making the abilities of each character fit the Super Mario world, uh, you know, um, galaxy. So I, I definitely recommend this game for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's a fun one. Uh, number 14. Okay. This game I used to play all the time after I was in middle school and it came out. And I used to play this all the time after school. We had a club after school and we'd have a TV a Super Nintendo there. It was Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart. Um, this is an awesome game. My favorite character is Toad. Uh, I think he's just the best one around it. Uh, Donkey Kong uh, sucked uh, instead of Bowser, in my personal opinion, on this game. But, I mean, this was, this was an awesome game. Obviously, there's been other Super Mario Karts released. There's been Mario for the Wii. I mean, pretty much every platform since uh, has been out. But this is this is really the one that started it for me. Um, I still pick this up and play it. Uh, I love this split screen. was was great. Um, I would love uh, for this game to be... Uh, Played online, that'd be awesome if you could somehow do it fold off. <laughs> um, okay, this is another RPG. Thirteen. This is man. There's a lot of RPGs on my, my top list here, but uh, Final Fantasy VII. This is a uh, PS uh, PS One game. Um, this is unbelievable. It's the first game for the PS One. Final Fantasy game for the PS One, um, and it, it's still a great story. Um, well, I mean, if you have, uh, if you can find this case uh, in, in you know sealed. Uh, it's very valuable. Same with Chrono Trigger, actually. If you find a sealed Chrono Trigger, it could be worth, you know, upwards I've heard thousands of dollars. Um, that's what I've heard. So it's, it's pretty wild. Uh, I don't think this game fetches as much, but there's a huge demand for this game still. Uh, and the reason why is it's just a great game by Squaresoft. So 
Um, let's do number 12. Uh, this is Halo 2 for the Xbox. Um, man, I like Halo 1, I like Halo 3, but Halo 2 to me was just uh, the fact that you, you know, play multiplayer um, obviously was the big one for me. And graphics are great, and, uh, you know, ending was uh, a little disappointing <laughs> on the campaign mode, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's a great game. Picked it off at uh, Halo 3 anyway, so no big deal. So finally, one of the last one on the list here is 11. We're going to go with a. Uh, Okay, uh, you guys have seen the movie The Wizard, and uh, you know Fred Savage. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. I'm gonna do a video review of that soon. But uh, but this is an awesome game. You know, if you probably know what I'm referring to, this is Super Mario Bros. Three. Um, uh, I used to think back in the day, growing up, uh, that this game graphics could not get any better than this game. Uh, Nintendo, it was just phenomenal. You look at the graphics from this game to the first Super Mario Brothers, and uh, it just uh, still blows me away. So. Uh, that's my number 11. So next video we're going to do a top 10. Definitely looking forward to guys and uh, thanks for paying attention and watching and thanks for commenting, voting, and subscribing. Take care. Bye-bye.